what's going on guys welcome back to the channel and in today's video i'm going to be ranking every single nfl team based on how they have been doing this season so far um through six weeks um i hope you guys enjoy the video um and i will move my camera um over here but i hope you guys enjoy the video we're going to be ranking every single teams every single team on tier maker so, hope you guys enjoy, and let's get into it. To start it off, uh, le be sure to leave a like in the video and tell me what you think about these rankings, and uh, let's get into it. Start off, we got the 49ers. The 49ers, I think, have been a solid team this season. They haven't done much um, all season. I mean, I believe they're like, they're about like 3-3-ish. Three and three -ish. Um, They haven't really done much, but they haven't been really mediocre but they haven't been great either. Been they've been a solid team that won a few games. Um, so the 49ers, yeah, they're a solid team. I'm gonna actually move my camera up here. It's, um, yeah, but they've been a solid team. They haven't done much. Uh, but they haven't been bad. The Bears, I'm gonna put mediocre, just because of the Bears. Like they haven't been able to win a big game. All right, they beat. I guess they beat the Bengals, and I guess they beat the Raiders. Um. That's tough. Um, I think the Bears have been – I yeah, I think the Bears have been solid. I think they've won a few more games than they were suspected to. Um, like, they're 3-3, three and th three and three, I believe. Um, but the Bears, I think they've been better than people expected them to be. Um, and I'm, I don't think the Bears have been all that bad this season. They're not going to make the playoffs because the NFC uh, – yeah, they're not going to make the playoffs. But they're st they've still been a solid team. Like, they're – they're, I I don't think they've I don't think they've been mediocre. Um, the Bengals as well, a solid team. I mean, they've. I'm gonna put the Bengals in great actually. I mean, the Bengals are four and two or something like that. Um, they've been very good. I mean, they kept up with the 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 Packers very well. They absolutely destroyed the Lions. They beat the Steelers. Like they've won some good games, and this Bengals team definitely has been good this season. And, guys, lit, about these rankings, these are not based on how the team is. So I'm saying if the Chiefs were 0-6, they'd be terrible, not just because that's how they've been playing. We're not talking about roster. We're talking about how this team is playing, not just roster. So, uh, yeah, not just roster and how they are. Just We're talking about how they're being playing. I don't care if the Jets were 6-0, and they'd be an elite. So, yeah, it's what I basically mean. But the Bengals are great. The Bills, I'll put them in elite. I mean, the Bills have single-handedly blown out every single team they played except for week one against the Steelers. Blown out the Chiefs, blew out the Chiefs, blew out the football team, blew out the Texans, blew out the Dolphins. Like, they've blown out every single team. If the, if the Bills won that week one game, this would be a totally different conversation. And I think the Bills would be Super Bowl favorites. But they've, they've been – Elite. They've been amazing since that week one game. Um, next, we got the Broncos. The Broncos are tough because the Broncos had a 3 0 start, but do they really deserve solid? I'm going to come back to the Broncos because they beat, they beat three bad teams, and then the rest of the games they've lost. Uh, yeah. The Browns, I'm going to put in great just because. I think the Browns have been better than solid considering all the injuries they've had and all the obstacles they've had to face. They kept up. They almost beat the Chiefs. But the Browns, I mean, they just don't – they're ne they're not healthy. But at the same time, they're still 3-3 three and three or something like that. So I can't put them any higher than elite or great. Um, but, they, yeah, they've been a good team. The Bucks, they're elite. They haven't blown anyone out by any means. Like, they really haven't. Um, but they're still the Bucks, and they're still five and one, six, five and one something. I guess they did blow out the Dolphins, but they're they're five and one, uh, so they're definitely an elite team. The Chiefs, the Chiefs are solid, I guess, because of the way they played. Um, they beat Washington, but this is the way they played against Buffalo wants me to put them down here. The way they played against the Bills. Uh, but they, I'll put them in solid just because of the way they bounced back and uh, beat up the Washington football team, a t pretty good team. Um, so the Chiefs, yeah, they, they were solid. Um, they, I think they've been solid. The Cardinals, I mean, they're the undefeated. They're the undefeated. I mean, 6-0. and 
Um, it definitely they should be elite. Um, shout out to Josh Therrington, a Cardinals fan, I know. Yeah, but they're undefeated, 6-0. No doubt about it, they're elite. Chargers, they've been great. They had a terrible week, um, six game against the Ravens. But then again, they beat in the Chiefs, they beat in the Browns. Like, they beat in good teams. They just had that tough loss against the Ravens. And if they beat the Ravens, they would be here. But that Ravens loss bumped them down. I'm still not worried about this team. They've still been great all year long. Chargers are fine and great. Colts. Colts have been mediocre. Uh, The team in general, like, they haven't been able to win big games. Like, they blew up the Texans, I guess. They kept pace with the Rams. But other than that, there's just not a lot to look at. Um, So, yeah, I'll put them in mediocre. I believe there are only two wins of the Jags and the um, – yeah, I believe there are only two wins of the Jags um, and the Texans. Yeah, uh, I, I may have spelled mediocre wrong. Cowboys are elite. Um, the way the Cowboys have been playing all year long. Kept face with the Bucks in week one. Came out of the gate looking really good. They could have won that game. Then they beat the Patriots. Then they beat the Eagles' statement win. Then they beat, like – they've beaten so many good teams this year. Um, and they haven't – actually, no, they haven't beaten really any good teams. I mean, they beat the Chargers, but they've made statement wins over team potentially good teams. Like the Giants, they were hyped up. They blew them out. Eagles coming off of a few good games, blew them out. Uh, it came back and beat my New England Patriots. And, you know, like the, the Cowboys all year have been great, and they're 5-1. and one. You got to put them in the league. Dolphins have been terrible. There's no doubt about that. They lost to the Jacksonville Jaguars, okay? They had a great win out of the gate against New England, but then they blew out by the Bills. And then, as we saw yesterday, they lost to the Jags. They lost to the Raiders. They've lost to the Colts. Like, this Dolphins team has been terrible. Now, granted, they lost Tua, but we, let's be serious. Maybe I think the only game they're getting back with Tua is that Raiders game, potentially. I still think they could have lost that game. Um, And maybe the – yeah, well, no, because he played against the Jags. But it would maybe be two and four with Tua. But still, they're terrible. Eagles – Eagles are mediocre. I mean, they beat the Panthers, I guess. um, And they beat the Falcons pretty good. So, they haven't been, like, terrible, terrible. um, But I don't think they're on the same level as the Dolphins. Falcons. Who'd they play last week? They had a buy. They had a buy. Yeah. Um, the Falcons, I think they they've been terrible. Yeah. That I'm gonna come back to that one. That's a really tough one. Because they they beat the um they lost to the Jets, but then again, yeah, the Falcons have been terrible. The way the games they've lost, they got blown out by the Eagles, blown out by um yeah, blown out by the Eagles, blown out by the um the Blown up by the Eagles, barely lost the football team, um, and then barely lost to the Jets, but that's the Jets. So, Falcons, they just haven't been good. They haven't won games, and that's why they're terrible. Giants are terrible. The Giants are the worst of the worst. Giants and the Jags have been horrible. Um, speaking of Jags, Giants, Jags, Jets, and Lions. There we go. We got our hor- terrible teams in. Those, like, the Giants – have just been the most underperforming bad team out there. They've lost so many bad um, games, blown out by the Cowboys, blown out by the um, Rams. Like, this team is an embarrassment. So the Jags underperforming as well. They got their first win. They looked good in that game, but they're still 1-5. The Jets, they're looking better. I mean, the Jets are definitely looking better. Um, they beat the Titans, um, and they beat the Falcons, I believe, if I'm not wrong. Or no, the Falcons beat the Jets. My bad. Yeah, my bad. Um, but yeah, all through those teams, all these te- in the lines of the Lions. So they're all terrible. Um, the Packers, do they go in elite? I'll come back to them. Panthers, Panthers have been solid. They started off the year well, got a good win against the Saints, um, but like losing to the pa- Vikings, Cowboys, and uh, Viking, they lost to the Vikings, Cowboys, and 
I forgot. Yeah, but the the Panthers they just haven't been. They've lost about three in a row. Um, so yeah, they they Vikings, um, Cowboys and Eagles they've lost two three in a row. So they've struggled. They came into the season very well, but since then they haven't done all that good. Um, my New England Patriots have been mediocre. I'll be honest. Uh, we we the only two wins against the Jets and the Texans. Like you can't put us on this level because we're two and four, and our only wins are the Jets and the Texans. Now, in our defense, we haven't been. We keep games close. We kept games close. The Cowboys game and the Bucks game, very close games. Dolphins game as well. But as but we can't just fin- we got to finish games. Like we can't just count lose into the box by two as a win. Like, we can't count that towards other teams because we lost. So, th- we just got to be able to finish the games. If we could have finished those games, we could have been here or maybe even here. Uh, but we just haven't been able to finish games. Unless we have a late mid-season, late-season rally, we're not going to the playoffs. And we're not – the best I think we will be this season is solid. Um, but Mac Jones does look good. The Raiders, I think they're a solid team. Uh, they they came in and they beat the Broncos pretty well. Um, so yeah, we all know they beat the um, Ravens. So they beat in some good teams. Like they're not definitely not a bad team, and I think they've proven themselves more than the Broncos. Uh, but the Raiders, yeah, they're a solid team. Rams are elite. Um, yeah, they lost the Cardinals, but they did beat the Bucks. They did blow out the Giants. So the Rams, they're playing like they should be. Um, maybe they should have won that Cardinals game, but then again, they just didn't play well. But the Rams are still an elite team. Yeah, they played well. Ravens, I think they're also elite um, this season. Like, the way they beat the Chargers, what, the, what 34-6? Lamar Jackson, he's been very good this season. Um, definitely Dark Horse MVP prediction. I don't think he's going to win MVP. I'm not saying that. I just think he should maybe be counted in that race. Um, but, yeah, uh, Lamar Jackson – he has been doing very well. The defense has done well. And the Ravens, I mean, they're 5 and 1. Washington football team, been mediocre. Like, really underperforming. Defense has been horrible. Taylor Heineke hasn't been particularly good. Antonio Gibson hasn't been particularly good. Terry McLaurin's been great, but ugh, there's not much else on that offense. So, Washington, they've underperformed drastically. They're not going to win that division. So, uh, yeah, they've been rough. Um, the Saints, mm, this is tough. It, Saints, 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 Saints. I think I'll put the Saints in solid. Um, I think they've been a pretty solid team. Uh, they've won a few good games. Like, I believe they're like three and three, four and two or something like that. Yeah, but the Saints, they're pretty, they're solid. I mean, they're performing better than people thought they were, I think. Um, or maybe close to that level, but... I think the Saints, the way they've been playing this season, uh, Jameis Winston hasn't been bad, but he hasn't he hasn't been good, but he hasn't been bad at all. So he's been pretty average. Kamara's starting to heat up, uh, and the receivers are really doing well replacing Michael Thomas. Broncos, mediocre. Three easy wins against three bad teams, and since then they've been terrible. Like, the Broncos, they got to beat a good team for me to consider them better than a mediocre team. Seahawks, same thing. They can't just rely on three players. Now, I know they lost Russell Wilson, but even before that, the Seahawks were still, what, two and three? Something like that. Geno Smith, losing Russell Wilson and having Geno Smith as your quarterback just made it even worse. All right. So the Seahawks, I mean, they're two and four. You can't make an injury as an excuse. They still have been pretty a bad team. They haven't been great. So Seahawks will put in mediocre. Steelers. This is yeah, because the Steelers they just haven't been good. All they just they came out of the gate really well against the Bills. Played very good that game. Um, and but they've just been inconsistent. They haven't been able to get on a win streak. They lost to the Bengals. I mean, they, they beat the Seahawks. So Steelers they've been mediocre. I mean, maybe you put them in solid. I want to be mad, but yeah, Texans are terrible. I mean, we every week, every week they won in week one. They haven't won since. Titans, they've been solid. Um, they've lost to the Jets, yeah, and they got blown up by the Cardinals. Yes, I understand. But they still got a good de- team. 
and they've still been able to win a few games. I think if, it's really going to decide if they beat the Bills, they'll be down here. But then again, they got a winning record. They're winning their division. The Titans, I think, are fine. The Vikings. <sighs> Vikings have to beat in the Panthers. I'll put them in solid. I think they were pretty good. Um, in that Panthers game, but they, I think they still have been a little underperforming than pe- what people thought they were going to be. Yeah. Um, but Vikings in solid. And then the Packers, I'll put in great. You could put Packers in, um, elite, but just that week one performance against the Saints, even that week two performance against the Lions, like it just hasn't all been all that impressed. They haven't been all that great. Like, they barely beat the Bengals, didn't blow out the Bears. So they just – they that 49ers game was really the only impressive game they played. They haven't really destroyed anyone in particular. So, yeah, I'll put the the Packers in great. Definitely the best, like, what, four and five and one team here. Uh, but I just don't want to have too many elite teams. So I'll put them in great. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like on the video, comment, and subscribe. Remember, this is how you're, um, these teams have been doing this season, not overall as a team. But I'll see you guys in the next one. And leave a comment on the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.